across the dry shawl. Oh! Oh, lower the tire pressure? Perfect! Hello and welcome to Expeditions, a Mudrunner game. Now, first of all, I want to go ahead and give a massive thank you to the development team for allowing me to take a look at this game for y'all. And if you would like to see more episodes of Expeditions here on the channel, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And also, do be sure to click that like button to let me know that you want to see more of these. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into a new game and see what Expeditions is all about. I'm so excited to actually go ahead and jump into this game properly now. Um, let's go ahead and skip the tutorial. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so wild. We have little Colorado. We have Arizona. We have the Carpathian Mountains. And then we also have mod regions, which I'm sure we will get um, a lot more of those as time goes on. So without any further ado, I think we're going to go ahead and get our start in... Mm, oh, I'm so back and forth. I think we'll go ahead and start our adventure in little Colorado, and then we'll expand up from there. Oh, we could also unlock free roam. Hmm. Oh, we actually have a pretty decent selection. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and do heavy shipping. Gotta go ahead and build our loadout. Oh, look at these! Obviously, if you've played SnowRunner, a lot of these trucks are going to be very familiar uh, to y'all. However, it is really cool uh, seeing them here in a different environment. That is a design choice. Hmm. Oh, I'm so split. I think we'll go ahead and do the step... Uh, 310 SE. Hmm. Oh, there's so many options. Ah. Uh... I do also think we should probably include as many recovery um, based upgrades uh, that we can actually use. Don't think we're going to need any extra fuel. Hmm. I will do a spare tire, though. Oh? Oh, I guess we can't. Uh, I'll do an anchor. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and do the flatbed. Luckily, it's free. <laughs> as far as customization goes um i'm a little back and forth at least so far on whether or not i want to do a lot of customization on the truck because <laughs> oh having all that chrome is totally gonna help you out uh out in the middle of nowhere i might as well though hmm oh look at this increased emergency supply of fuel and spare parts that's a little expensive, though. And considering the fact that this is going to be a really early expedition, I'm honestly not sure that we even need that. Hmm. Oh, I'm so back and forth. Tell you what. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the spare wheel mount, and then we'll also do some heavy nerf bars. Well, actually, no. We're not going to do the heavy nerf bars, and I'll tell you why. Because it actually looks like it would reduce our breakover angle. And that's the last thing I want to do. Um. Hmm. Oh, do I actually want to do this? I think I'm going to go ahead and run the truck uh, as is. I 
say as I customize it even further. <laughs> oh, look at that! I wonder if there are any other designs available. Oh, look at these! Honestly, these are sick. They just keep going! I'm honestly a little split because I kind of want to use that special one that we saw back up at the top. Hmm. The level of indecisiveness that I always feel whenever I'm customizing these trucks is always too high. Oh, look at all the stickers. It looks like we have to unlock just about all of them, though. So... I'm honestly not going to worry too much about the stickers right now. That should be about good. So let's see. One of our forwarders is stuck in a swamp. So we'll have to deploy and evacuate the truck. This is a heavy truck. So you'll need a powerful vehicle to pull it out and take it to the outpost. So take this into account when planning to deploy. Uh, I think we're about ready. Let's go. Oh, I'm properly excited. Oh, that loaded in quick. Oh, I need to remember. Nope. Okay, that's the same as before. I need to remember which button the parking brake is. Oh. So you just have to hold down on the bumper. Uh, and then that brings up sort of a control wheel. Building modules. Oh, hello. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the all-wheel drive on. more essentials. I'm honestly not even going to worry about that right now. Mainly because I don't I don't want to have to think about too much. Uh, because I'm still sort of... Oh, wait a second. Oh, no! Oh, I went the wrong... Did I go the wrong way? Oh, where is... Oh! Oh! I'm going to go ahead and just add a destination point down there. Although it looks like we're going to have to kind of wind around some cascading rocks um, in order to get there anyway. So I'm honestly not going to put too much worry into it right now. Uh, lockers would be helpful. Honestly, you know what would be really helpful right now uh, would be better tires. Oh, I missed my turn. Oh, that's frustrating. That's actually super frustrating uh, because in order to shift it from reverse back to low, essentially it has to pass through the gate um, that would be the auto mode. And when it passes through the auto mode gate, it actually forces you to disable your lockers. That's super annoying. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a little bit more on the annoying side of things than I think I would personally like. I do have to say the terrain is gorgeous though. Oh, hello. Let's 
go ahead and wind around these trees. Hopefully without hitting any of them. Oh. I keep turning the truck off. Oh, that's interesting. The winch has a push mode. That's cool. That's actually really cool. Oh, don't get high centered. So that's where we're headed. Um, and it looks like we're gonna have to be a little creative uh, in terms of getting down there to the truck because I really don't want to high center this. Um, and if I high center this truck, we're gonna have to start all over and it's gonna be really, really frustrating. Honestly, looks to me uh, like the route through that little hill, or rather through the, the little hill that has like a gap in between the rocks, is going to probably be the lowest resistance um, of all of the routes we could take to get that truck out of there. Let's make this interesting. <laughs> I was wondering if that was going to be breakable. It honestly doesn't look like it. Oh, this thing is fragile. say at the very least uh that truck is on its wheels and it's not like you know entirely flipped over so if it was entirely flipped over that would have made this a whole hell of a lot worse so this actually functions a lot like snowrunner does which obviously is going to be no surprise to anyone however it looks like all we have to do is um hook up the winch to it um and then go ahead and turn on the power once we've gotten everything hooked together honestly that's that's pretty simple oh no oh there we go ah uh, not really an issue but oh come on Oh, let's go. Hold on, we're gonna have to... Oh, for one, if I could stop turning off the, um, the engine. That is definitely one of the aspects of the controls uh, that I'm really gonna have to get used to. You're almost there. Come on. Oh, it is stuck on something. I'm not sure what, but... It's, like, badly stuck. Oh, it's on a ledge. At least it looks like it's on a ledge. Just gonna nudge it back just a little. There 
it is. Oh, we've got it. our fingers and hope for the best on the grounds that this truck actually has enough grunt uh, to haul this other one back to the drop off. I will honestly say uh, that they did a gorgeous job on this entire landscape. The textures definitely look a lot better uh, than the ones in SnowRunner do, and I can definitely tell that they've spent a lot of time um, sort of upgrading sort of the process that they use for a lot of the texture sort of processing. Now find it. Find it at the front axle. Maybe sort of, kind of, possibly. Honestly, I want to just climb up that edge, but this is far from the truck to do that with. Oh, I meant to shift, and my snowrunner instincts uh, sort of kicked back in, and my snowrunner instincts were telling me to use left bumper, whereas my, well, I have to kind of learn the expeditions instincts and uh, if you want to shift you have to use the right bumper instead of the left bumper uh, which is going to be a little confusing I think for some players early on because in SnowRunner uh, right bumper is your handbrake oh we're so close there. Perfect. Not bad. Recover in less than, oh, less than two times. And then it looks like we also took less than 200 points of damage, which is kind of funny because I wasn't even trying to pay attention to the amount of damage I was getting. Oh, I love that. So it looks like we could either go ahead and continue um, without exiting the environment, or we could go back to the headquarters. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the headquarters. And now that we've had a look at Little Colorado, I wanna go ahead and also take a look at the Carpathian Mountains, because it's probably the region that I have been the most excited about uh, ever, honestly, ever since the announcement of all of these regions. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. And unfortunately, there's really only one uh, expedition that's open at the moment. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on into that one and see what this environment is like. We're gonna have to get creative. <laughs> We're gonna have to get creative with our vehicle selection. Hmm. Oh, I wonder. You know. Honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to the Acteon SE. Hmm. Definitely gonna want that. Definitely gonna want that. Honestly, I don't think we're really gonna need all that much in terms of cargo. Um, but I think, I think uh, we'll go ahead and do, hmm, uh, we'll do a short sideboard. Hmm. Oh, that'll help. That'll help a lot. Oh, definitely gonna want an extended winch. Hmm. I'll throw a snorkel on there. And as far as power goes... Oh, 
Well, that's about as much power as we have access to right now. No other gearboxes. No other suspensions. So this is going to be fun. This is going to be real good. Hmm. Why would I pay... Oh, uh, why would I pay actual money? Or rather, actual in-game uh, money for any of those visors? They're literally just, um, just aesthetic. I think that'll be fine. Although, might as well throw some of the, uh, some of the extra gear in there, though. Perfect. Oh, wait. Oh. Lo logisticians? Hmm. Oh, I guess Connor is our only option. I mean, Connor almost looks like... Connor almost looks like an Antarctic explorer. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this looks a lot more in-depth. Oh, that's wild. That little creek uh, coming down the little cutout in the hill looks so good. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I genuinely thought the game was going to crash. Oh, this is gorgeous. I'm honestly not going to worry too much uh, about building a lot of um, extra supply drops and things like that uh, at the moment because I honestly just want to do some exploring. I love how the gear is actually properly strapped um, into the back of the truck. Oh no. Oh no! Well, that's not all that far, though. I am genuinely glad that we brought extra fuel, though, because that doesn't look like a trail. I mean, it kind of is. It's a little sketchy, though. This is so much Mudrunner vibes. The Mudrunner vibes are so incredibly strong here. Come on. Oh? Looks like we need to... Oh, sorry. Looks like we need to head... Oh! Oh, it disappeared! Damn it. I was honestly really hoping uh, that that was going to stay up for a little while longer. Uh, cross the dry shoal. Oh! Oh, lower the tire pressure. Perfect. I love that game mechanic so much. I'm honestly genuinely glad. Uh, oh. I gotta remember that that causes damage. But I am genuinely glad, though, uh, that that's a gameplay mechanic that we finally get to work with. Oh, it uses a hell of a lot of fuel. I love how they're like, oh, you shouldn't have a winch. Um, and I'm like, no, nah, I don't think we'll need one. At least, I don't think. I don't think we'll need one. There is definitely a chance uh, that we might, but I'm going to just go ahead and ignore that uh, for the rest of the drive. See, we're fine. 
Didn't even remotely need a wench. I do have to bump that back up, though. I'd really rather not blow out a bunch of my tires uh, simply because I forgot to reinflate the pressures. Oh, look at this! Oh, quartz? That's so sick! Oh, what is that? Scrap metal? Oh, what's next? Oh, crap! Oh, that's out there! Oh, we just have to explore the area itself? I mean, we can do that! Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just set a destination point. Mostly just so we have a general idea of where we're headed. I love this idea of picking up airdrops. Oh, this will be a fun descent. A little nervous. Just a little nervous. I think we'll be okay, though. Honestly, as long as we get down to the bottom unscathed, I mean, we could just cruise right on over to where we need to be. Oh, that's gorgeous. I wonder. Oh. It looks like we don't have a photo mode. Honestly, that's extremely disappointing because I was really hoping um, that we were going to have one because who wouldn't want to take a gorgeous photo of that view right there? I don't know. At least I would want to take a gorgeous photo of that view. So we're in the zone. Oh, do we actually have to get that up to 100%? Oh, that's a lot. Oh, crap. I keep accidentally turning the engine off. Because honestly, I keep wanting to turn... I keep wanting to turn the lockers on. Um, and I keep accidentally turning the engine off. Oh, can I fit? No. That's frustrating. wish. Honestly, I wish that we had taken a smaller vehicle. I also wish it wasn't nighttime. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, I didn't mean to leave the zone. It's the last thing I wanted to do. Jeez. Oh, I think we're okay. Ish. I honestly need to, just need to get back into low. I'm stuck between these trees and I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. Come on. in the zone, but it's not counting up in progress? That's so strange. Because according to the map, I'm entirely in the zone, so I'm not quite sure why it's telling me I'm not actually getting anywhere. Hmm. I'm also not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. 
because I am still technically in the zone. Oh, it did count up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Still in. That should do it. And then now we just gotta deliver the cargo back to the base. Uh, without dying. Not dying is preferable. Very preferable. I do love how they've kind of expanded upon the, um, kind of the, a lot of the scouting missions uh, that we saw in SnowRunner were very dependent upon just like go here and then go here and then go here. But there wasn't really much to interact with uh, in this sort of in-between. Whereas here, you're picking up, you know, like packages or gear or it's honestly super, super reminiscent of old school spin tires where you actually had to deliver packages. Oh, come on. This little thing rips. It's such a fun little vehicle to drive. I love it. I love it personally. I know that I was a little earlier, like <laughs> a little earlier, I was kind of complaining about it. And I was like, well, we should probably have gone with something smaller, but I'm kind of glad we didn't. Boom. That was a blast. That was honestly a really, really good time. And I'm glad that we jumped in here um, to kind of get a little bit of a feel for um, the Carpathians. I think it's a really cool region and I can't wait to check it out further. But if y'all enjoyed this look at Expeditions, make sure you let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And of course, let me know what else you would like to see. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on and I'll see y'all next time.